The pie? Or are you going to pick the pie? And our ET Canada reunion series continues tomorrow with Joshua Jackson and his Dawson's Creek friends. And also on Wednesday, who are the most stylish Canadian stars making fashion trends? And wild video from his days as a VJ. Imagine seeing you guys here. Plus, how Joshua Jackson will become a Kennedy. Then... When Dawson's Creek debuted in 1998, it was credited as having edgy writing and true-to-life teenage characters. Now those actors are all grown up, and one has become famous for her relationship. Two are still working actors, and another is up for an Academy Award this year. Here's our Rick Campanelli now with another installment in our classic reunion series. Not a good idea, no. no. That's yeah. Oscar nominee Michelle Williams opposite James Vanderbeek back in 1997. And Vancouver native Joshua Jackson giving us a tour of the set. Ever heard that song, Smoking In? Well, there's nothing in the boys' room. Flash forward to today, Michelle Williams came to the Oscar luncheon this week with fiancé, father of her child, and fellow nominee Heath Ledger. Michelle and Heath met while filming broke back in Alberta, so making this film transformed her life personally and professionally. James Vanderbeek, Dawson of Dawson's Creek, also found love in real life. He married actress Heather McComb in 2003. In addition, he has three films coming out this year, including one called Standing Still. Imagine seeing you guys here. But back in 97, James' roommate was none other than his co-star, Joshua Jackson. Josh and I are sharing an apartment right now. And Josh's dog, Shimba. He's my third roommate. The dog is fine. Josh is the one I can't stand. Meet Felix. Meet Oscar. Oscar. <laughs> I'm not the neat one. Today, Joshua is still working. In fact, he just completed filming the highly anticipated Bobby about the assassination of Robert Kennedy, also starring Sir Anthony Hopkins and Sharon Stone. Well, my name is Katie Holmes, and I play Joey Potter. Katie's come a long way from her days as Jo 